Hello, Tech World. This is Tech Thoughts. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to send Telegram messages via PowerShell using the Telegram Bot API. We're going to be utilizing a PowerShell module called Poshgram to accomplish this. It is available on GitHub, but it does have a couple of prerequisites. And if you're looking to follow along with this video, you might want to take care of those now. The first is that it does require PowerShell 6.1.0. That is in preview at the time of making this video. So you'll need to download and ensure that's installed. You'll also need a Telegram bot created. If you're not sure how to accomplish that, I've already made a video that easily shows you how to quickly create a Telegram bot, and I've linked that in the description below. So check out that video first. You'll also need a chat ID number, and that bot must also be a member of the specified chat so that it can send messages. There are two ways to install Poshgram. You can, of course, come up here and clone or download the repository to your device. But the easiest way is just to install it directly from the PowerShell gallery using the install module named Poshgram command. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and move over to our device. And this is, if we look, a 6.1.0, which again, at the time of making this video is still in preview. OK, so why does this module require 6.1? instead of supporting older PowerShell versions like PowerShell 5.1 or 6. Well, the Telegram API makes it very easy to send things like basic text messages. Those actually are 5.1 compatible. However, when sending uh, media formats, such as audio, video, or photos, the Telegram API expects multi-part form data. That's extremely challenging to generate in PowerShell 5.1. And even in PowerShell 6, it's very hard to manually form uh, that multi-part form data uh, structure. However, in PowerShell 6.1, the native dash form was introduced into the invoke rest method and invoke rub request. And that makes it very easy to generate and send that type of form data up into the API. So it made sense to code this around the 6.1 version, and that's why it requires 6.1. So again, in order to get this installed, what we're going to do is just simply install it from the PowerShell gallery with the simple install module named Poshgram. I'll go ahead and run that now. Okay, so with that installed, what we can do is we can get that module and see what commands are available to us. Okay, first we'll go ahead and import it actually. All right, so with that module loaded, we now have access to all of the functions that are available in that module, which are documented in detail on the GitHub. So we can do things like test our bot token, send basic text messages, send local photos, or send a, a photo that's on the internet currently via a URL. So let me go ahead and, and demo some basic stuff. So the, again, the only two components that we're going to need is the bot token and the chat ID that we're going to want to send a message to. So I've gone ahead and preloaded that over here into two variables, the bot token and the chat ID that I want to interact with. And I'm just going to include that in the session over here into memory. So now we can start doing things like testing the bot token or sending basic messages. I'll go ahead and test that bot token. And we get a true return, indicating that our token is indeed valid. So that's just a quick way for you to determine that the token that you generated is working and you're hitting the Telegram API and everything is functioning as you expect it to. So now let's go ahead and just send a basic message. So we'll send Telegram text message. We'll provide it the bot token as well as the chat ID. And the message we'll just send is first basic test for tech thoughts. And we'll go ahead and click enter. And notice that I immediately get an indication saying that that bot successfully sent the message to the chat that I specified. OK, so that works pretty great. You may be thinking to yourself, like, why do we need PowerShell when we have mobile applications and desktop applications to send Telegram messages? Well, including a PowerShell kind of environment and wrapping the ability to send messages via PowerShell really opens up some interesting programmatic possibilities for sending messages out via Telegram. So let's take a look at just a really quick example. So let's take a look at this basic function I have here, which is the test low disk space function, which is just looking at the C drive, 
getting the amount of space free on it, evaluating if that space free is less than 20 gigs, and writing out some text to say, hey, this is really low, or it's actually not low on space. Just a very basic function, PowerShell function, to determine if the disk is low. If we take that function and move it over to our session here, and go ahead and run that test low disk space, we'll get an indication saying that the drive is healthy. Let's go ahead and fake this out and make it greater or equal then, and kind of trip up the function to think that the disk is actually bad. And see, we here we get a drive space critically low at 37. Now here is where we can start leveraging that Poshgram module. Instead of writing a lot of code, uh, we could make this function very dynamic and being able to provide some reporting capabilities or some alerting capabilities. So the first thing we'll do is we'll import the module, Poshgram. We'll go ahead and declare our token and chat ID that we want to actually send this notification to. And then it's just a simple matter of sending that information out. And again, if you're not sure how to formulate these commands, you can always just do git help and find the command that you're looking for. And it will provide examples on how to actually formulate that particular command. So if we do that here, you'll notice it gives you a full example of what you need to do. You can just copy that. And instead of sending that right output, we'll send a telegram text message. And instead of bot token, we'll do token. And instead of chat, we'll do the chat ID variable. And our message is going to be this text. So we'll go ahead and load this function back in. This time we'll test low disk space. You notice we get a OK true. And now we have a critical notification to our telegram that the drive space is low. So don't forget, Poshgram is not limited to sending basic telegram messages. It can also send a wide variety of media messages as well. So we can go ahead and send a local photo, again, specifying that token in the chat that we want to send it to. And we can also specify a photo path. I've got a couple of test photos loaded on here. And if we go ahead and run that, it'll upload that particular photo from this local device to the Telegram chat, which you can see over there on the right. So I hope you found this short demo on Poshgram useful. Uh, the possibilities are pretty endless and really only limited to your imagination. This can provide some really great uh, messaging and alerting capabilities uh, to your Telegram groups uh, for a wide variety of different use cases. If you found this useful, go ahead and click that like button and feel free to subscribe for more Tech Thoughts videos.